Hello, my name is Pontus Wernestol and I'm an associate professor in informatics and digital service innovation at Hamstad University in Sweden. The title of this paper is Multidisciplinary Learning and Innovation for Professional Design of AI-Powered Services. And the context here is that designing AI-powered services is considered hard. Companies face several challenges when adopting AI technologies in their service and product offerings. Personalized and adaptive behavior and functionality that changes over time affects end user experiences in sometimes unpredictable ways. And this makes designing for AI powered experiences difficult to both prototype and evaluate. And in order to provide real business value, companies need to learn how to um, adapt design and development processes to fit AI powered services, but also communicate in cross functional teams and deploy a continuous competency development strategy. <clears throat> so designers, developers, researchers and managers in all sectors need tools and practical know-how to support them in creating and evaluating designs that address the challenges and opportunities this new technology presents. So currently we're in a position where AI availability and capabilities have drastically increased so we currently have a, an abundance of data that are, it can be accessed via a global and fast internet on both mobile and stationary devices that are spread across the, uh, across the globe. We also have availability of algorithms and AI models and frameworks that can be accessed easily. And furthermore, technical developments in terms of processing power and graphical processing units have made these calculations feasible and viable to use in uh, practical applications. At the same time, AI is a heterogeneous collection of techniques and application areas, and it's hard, therefore hard to define and learn to apply these in practice. Um, AI can make uh, uh, specific processes such as searching and mining and prediction based on big data more efficient um, but also more advanced AI can be implemented to make services um, agentive, uh, that is to take the initiative and act on users' behalf. And this affects how tasks and work are carried out, and this has substantial implications for how organizations orchestrate their workforce and what skill sets are prioritized. And to this end, we have studied a learning and innovation environment called AI.M, whose purpose is to um, fast track small and medium sized companies in their journey towards designing AI powered services. Uh, the, the, the aim is to help companies design better AI powered services. So let's first talk about the AIM program and the different actors involved. At the center of, of the program is an innovation hub, uh, which is the host for participating companies in, the, in this environment. The companies have challenges uh, within AI and design uh, and business, and what they hope to get out of the program are conceptual prototypes displaying the value of AI and design uh, of, of these AI-powered services, but also knowledge and uh, a strategic roadmap for how data, AI, and design should be part of their ongoing development. In order to do this, the AIM program uh, takes um, assistance from the university with expert knowledge in AI and service innovation. They employ design agencies that can provide professional UX design and prototyping. The design agencies in turn get design experience and uh, additional knowledge in terms of AI specifically. Within the program, um, tools are being developed, templates for AI-powered services are being developed and tested in, in, in this learning environment. And a desired effect of the program is also that design agencies can form networks with the participating companies and thereby continue to do business after they have um, participated in the, in the, in the uh, program. The university, on the other hand, can also expose students to these challenges and uh, provide 
um, student work in, in, in this innovation and learning environment. By evaluating the tools and the templates and the methods provided in the, in the, in a, in, in the innovation program, the university can then um, evaluate this and give rise to new project ideas and new research projects. And as a final um, um, add-on to this program, the university can then provide this new knowledge in terms of papers, books and talks, etc. And also uh, use this in new courses in educational content. And this could also expose the program to more companies and add to the recruitment. So this is the desired uh, effects and impact for the different uh, beneficiaries in this program. The program is 12 weeks long and it starts with an inspiration lecture consisting of two sessions where one is on AI technology and one is on human-centered design. This is followed by a prep meeting where each individual company brings uh, their own understanding and their own data uh, readiness and ideas and challenges to uh, the meeting and then the innovation leader typically uh, prepares them for the upcoming workshops. In the first uh, two workshops, um, the AIM program has a business design um, focus. This means that the companies and the innovation program are discussing the business challenges at hand and um, tries to assess the data and AI and design maturity in the company. Based on these two workshops, uh, application are then selected. So um, here typically the AIM program has generated a lot of ideas and it is boiled down to uh, one particular application. This provides the input to the service design workshops where typically a customer experience perspective is taken. Typical deliverables here are customer journey maps or service blueprints. After these two workshops, the team has arrived at a decision for uh, um, what kind of prototypes should be built in order to convey the, the vision of the AI powered service that uh, the team has come up with. This, when this has been decided, uh, a design sprint session starts where the UX design team prototypes in collaboration with the AI expert and the companies. The resulting deliverable is typically some sort of demonstrator or prototype that encapsulates the vision and the knowledge that the team has accumulated over these 12 weeks. Apart from the demonstrator, the AIM program also provides a definition of possible next steps and um, an AI future strategy roadmap. And that concludes the AIM program. The actual study then consists of uh, interviews where we have interviewed the participants from the program. These um, participants come from both the university, the uh, representatives from the participating companies in a, in a variety of roles, but also um, participants from the Innovation Hub that has led this program, as well as UX and visual and front-end developers uh, and designers at the design agencies. We carried out uh, post-project interviews with all the currently 15 companies uh, and representatives from the university and the Innovation Hub and the participating design agencies. And these interviews were analyzed uh, qualitatively and clustered into 12 categories. And these categories were named and then put into five main themes. The categories were generated bottom up from the interviews. So meaning bearing uh, phrases and sentences were captured in, in the interviews and then put on uh, a digital whiteboarding tool called Miro, where um, the researchers um, 
collaborated in clustering these into the categories. When the, um, all the meaning bearing phrases were captured in categories, the uh, categories were named. And uh, in, in the second column in this table, you can see the names of the categories. The next step was to uh, put headers on these categories. And these were related to known challenges when it comes to AI powered um, design. Uh, the themes were knowledge, innovation, impact, prototyping, and communication. And we aligned the categories with these themes. So for example, the knowledge theme consists of data analytics and culture and competencies issues. The learning implications in, in this theme has to do with <clears throat> both theoretical and practical knowledge about different AI technologies and their impact on user experience design. As an example, on these uh, categories then <clears throat> is that uh, if machine learning affects both design and user experiences and this relationship is seen as a knowledge gap uh, it has to be overcome by both designers and developers and that means that the company needs to address culture and competencies categories not only the technical aspects of data and analytics so what we did was to uh, based on the interviews and the categories and what we've heard through the, in the interviews, we generated prompts, questions that can aid a, a company and a team in advancing their knowledge, their innovation, the desired impact, their prototyping abilities and their ability to communicate both externally and, and internally about this. So as an example, in the knowledge theme, the category data and analytics uh, category contains questions that a team can ask uh, in order to advance their knowledge about this. So sample prompt would be what data sources do we have access to today and what quality do they have? Following up on that question, the team might ask, do we have access to useful information that we might not consider proper data today? For example, if information is stored in PDF files or Excel sheets that are not directly accessible to uh, um, an AI model, uh, and so on. Prompts in the culture and the competencies category uh, include other kinds of issues um, regarding how we can advance the knowledge. And then it becomes important, for example, what are our drivers, purpose, and attitudes in the company? If the attitude towards data and AI is hesitant, the, uh, we might have a cultural problem in designing for AI. Uh, for example, uh, another prompt is, uh, do we have ownership issues regarding data within our organization? That is important, uh, the interviews show, to come to terms with, because this can hinder or make design of AI-powered services hard. In total, 48 questions spread out over these 12 categories and five themes were formulated and act as the design framework of prompts. And the study here um, verifies that the multi-actor learning environment has, has been fruitful. And the findings include um, that the derived themes align with previous research on challenges with designing AI powered services as identified by other authors. Uh, the themes generated categories and prompts used in creative design work, uh, aligning technology, user experience and business goals. The AIM learning environment facilitates networking and continuous learning for diverse stakeholders and competencies. The human centered design is perceived as key to designing valuable and AI-powered digital services. In order to learn more, uh, I encourage you to read the paper, Multidisciplinary Learning and Innovation for Professional Design of AI-Powered Services. Thank you.